this high um, ranking but job. You would think. Who's gonna do that? It's like who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's what she said. Well, we heard you've heard of Dora the Explorer, right? Yeah. Well, we have a new queen in the house. Go Diego, <laughs> go, Diego go. Go Diego, go. He's got his backpack on. Uh, he's backpack, uh, backpack. Uh, is Diego <laughs> now? Is Diego the male form? I'm sorry, the 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 X Y form of. Dora? It could be. Just so that we have context because no one knows what the fuck we're talking about. First of all, thank you for listening. Second of all, our sweet, sweet Kate, who was our remote editor, is being moved on to other things. She'll be temporarily helping with the transition. I know that's triggering for you. I'd be you. surprised Point if this podcast is around in, in, in a week. They're, they keep throwing everyone off our show. Well, I think the thing is that people get intimidated by our celebrity, which is why they gave us our sweet, sweet Diego, who has moved on from Plan Bree. He's now going to be helping us out. He has a coiffed, feathered haircut, a Sacramento's, <laughs> yeah. a Sacramento Kings black long sleeve channeling the 90s. Do you know who Paige Stoyakovich is? Do you oh, know who yes, Vlade absolutely. Divac is? Um, Mike Bibby. Or was Bibby on? Bibby was on him. Bibby. Chris oh, Weber. Chris Weber, who Chris in Weber. NBA 2K6 had the little thing, the heel, which meant he could dunk. Yes. See, I'm, I'm a sport queen. Um, and we're very happy to have him here. Joey was a little nervous before we started about the onboarding process. So, Joey, I'm going to let you go ahead and take over well, the interview she just portion. Got, she just got removed off um, – well, we already have it in the media. She was working on George Santos' campaign. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and now she is – no longer in office, so now she is, she's working over here. Yeah, pull up the photo of us with uh, George Santos here. Yeah, we're excited to have Diego on. I think it's good to have someone in-house, don't you? I think it He's going to be in-house all the time now? Yeah. You're going to be So here. this is your only job right now? I'm Barstool Radio and whatever else they throw at me. So you're her assistant? Yeah. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> whatever Pat does, I do. Oh, well... The <laughs> nah, you won't be alive long. Uh, <laughs> there we are. This is our third mic with George Santos. Um... There we are. Well, Diego, we're ha we'll get to Santos in a second, but we are happy to have you on. Do you know anything about the show? Do you know anything about me and Joey? Do you have questions for us in the onboarding process? Um, no, I think I'm just ready to sit back, learn. Um, I've definitely watched a few episodes. So, when is your birthday? February seventh. Ah. Oh, she's a water sign, my dear. <laughs> she's an Aquarius. <laughs> she's, a wa she's a water. Are sign. you an Aquarius? I think so. I don't know. No, really... no, no. That's not Aquarius. No, I get him wrong all the time. I'll look it up. Yeah, I feel like a, I feel like Diego's like a little brother. Like I'm afraid. What's your to favorite say color, really Diego? Um, I like green. Green. Oh, that's right. The pants. Oh, I waxed you before. How's your ankle doing? You I don't know if it grew him? back yet. Yeah, I waxed his ankle. No, it grew back. But it, for a while, like it was the summer, my friends were like, why yeah. do you have part of your leg gone? And I was like, work. You go, you, yeah. you go, you, what? <laughs> you work. go, work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. She's a, yeah, she's a water side. She's serving fish. Now, do we have <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any warning? Is there something we should be worried, worried about with an Aquarius, perhaps? Um, they, no, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty. Um, mild mannered. Mild mannered, but, but they're like, you know. It's hard to phase. Like nothing phases them really. I think Diego's chill. What's your last name, Diego? Rodriguez. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is awkward. Shelly, <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, do you want to take it? Do you want to take it from there? I know what you're about to say. I do have to text my cleaning lady. Hold on one second. <laughs> Joey's like Kelly Osborne. <laughs> Who is going to clean your toilets, Mr. Mr. Trump? Trump. <laughs> uh, well, we're we're happy to have you here, Diego. I'm happy to be here. Yes, I know you're gonna. I think you're gonna fit in well. I just hope that you know this podcast lasts enough for you to keep this job. Well, we need to check him for a mic. Like, a, if he is he secretly you, recording us? No, you're not wired. No, I'm not wired. <laughs> but you're dialed in. Are you I'm, ticklish? I'm locked in. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's the creepiest thing that's ever been said. <laughs> you know these socks are Nicktaranis that I'm wearing. He gifted them to me. And I got you a Christmas gift, by the way. I know. You called me. Well, after you sent me, you sent me a montage, a burka montage. Yes. And then you said, right after that, I don't know. I wasn't sure if you were saying that. And then you said I got the best Christmas present ever. So I can oh, only be that. to believe yeah. that it was something, some sort of cloak, cloak or face covering. No. But I, because you sent it right after you sent the montage. Which uh, was fabulous, by the way. Thank you. Oh, my, alg my algorithm is so fine-tuned to the this. The fashion and the detail oh, that those women put crazy. into their looks. Well, the thing is, it's nice to just eliminate the need to pick out an outfit every day. And if you can <laughs> That's do what that, I'm trying to do. This is my very own style of burka. I'm, I, you can't be seen. I'm, I'm an invisible queen. Yeah, why are, you, why are you dressed like you're going to a dude ranch after this? Well, partner. Oh, God. <laughs> are you okay, cussed? No, I started following someone new on the internet. Who? He's just like some like 
queen from like Staten I think Island. like no from like Los Angeles and like um, he just tries different like costumes, different outfits on every day, and he's like, you know, this is what I'd wear in the nineteen fifties. Dad. Oh, and he does uh, the different hairstyles? I didn't see his hairstyles, but yeah. like, he's just trying different things. And I said, I have that look. And to be quite honest, I wore these pants and shoes last time I left the house a few days ago. Did you go out was... after Thursday? No, I haven't left. I haven't got out of bed since Thursday. Me neither. I, we went out to the uh, Plan Brie. Sorry, trigger no. warning for Diego. <laughs> we, went out, we went out to Plan Brie uh, after party. <laughs> oh, buddy. Well, there was the thing. That, we'll get to that in a second. But that, like, nowadays, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 30. And like up on January third, so it's a couple right. of weeks, like a month from now. So going into my thirties now, it's like I can't even. If I go out on a Thursday, I'm not out of bed until Monday. That's what I do. I need three days. Like, it's like I wasn't even partying hard. It wasn't like I was like doing drugs wow. or staying up. You know, we were partying kind of hard. It was a joke. Oh, got it. <laughs> Over my head. Um, what time did you get home on Thursday? Not late. I got home at like two, two forty-five, yeah. maybe. Like two, yeah, two, one, two, two o'clock ish, and then um, I was at Bay's house, and then um, I had to leave because I forgot my my my, my down my downers. I could <laughs> I couldn't put myself down, <laughs> so I had to go all the way back to my house and then go back to his house because I needed to get my pills. You went you went back uptown and then went back downtown. I don't, it's not, I don't live uptown anymore. <gasps> That's right. I'm a downtown queen. I went over to my apartment and then went back to his because I couldn't um sleep. That's the apartment with two uh, units per floor. That's it, right? Brass elevator, doorman, the whole thing. Madison yeah. Avenue. It's cute, beautiful, Joe. Mm-hmm. Happy to hear that. Yeah, I was I was down for the count. Um, Thursday, I got back at like two forty five. Can you but believe you, they made people sign NDAs so they didn't take pictures of us while we were there? Well, I asked them to because I didn't want to re- reveal my new look, my new look just yet. It was really something. Um, let's talk about the Prambri after show. I'm um, the the Prambri uncut finale party for um, their podcast. Go ahead. It was the last episode of their show. Yeah. Um, they're being canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why Diego's with us. <laughs> um, no, I went to the show. You didn't make it to the show, though. I thought that was rude. I know. I couldn't make it. I was having furniture delivered. At 6.30 at night on a Friday? It was Thursday, and it was being delivered at 5, and I had the runs. I think you didn't want to go. Th- You're the type of person who just goes to the um, reception, does not go to the wedding. Correct. 100%. Um, they, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, they were busy. I didn't want to put me on a list. I figure I would go and, you know, do my hugs and kisses after the show. You didn't buy a ticket? You did not buy a ticket. I bought four tickets. You bought four tickets? Well, they needed it. No one's buying tickets to their show. <laughs> <laughs> the show looked great from everything I uh, saw. So this is when I went, cause yeah. I'm, cause I am, you know, I just, we just got off tour and I'm, you know, I am a conscientious queen. Not only do I want to support my sisters. You want ideas, you want inspiration. Inspiration is, and you know what, lo and behold, Everyone's got the same fucking parts. There's nothing. Really? There's no. There's no magic to any of these shows. It's all the same f- metaphor. You're there to. You're there to interact with fans. You do a little of this, a little of that segment wise. I mean, I, every time I go to a show, we think we're gonna we're gonna see someone rewriting the wheel. But it's honestly, it's just vibes. It's just. It's just. You know, it's the same thing. Like you know, at most shows, like you know, show some. The thing the is, screen. like once you have your format and you do it. Like yeah, you can just plug but they, you know it's, it's you know it's the same thing. It's same with us. It's a plug and play, and the, the fans are electric, and it's like you know, you could honestly you know. Sit up there and just you know use Q-tips in your ears and they'll be like, oh my we god. Were, we were limping to the finish line of our, our show, our Tampa show. Oh my god, that was like the first four. Well, like I knew everyone the, sold out. It was. I crazy, knew when was I was crazy. served a beef quesadilla. <laughs> that oh, it something was, was something. up. Yeah, remember that? It wasn't steak. It was. It wasn't carne asada. It was a beef case, a, a shredded beef quesadilla. It was like instant beef. Instant out of beef. Like a bat, out of a bat. Well, I mean, you, now you took it down. I was so whatever whatever pill I whatever whatever <laughs> drugs they gave me at the meet and greet and um. Tampa, the, the weed you ingested maybe on very, your own. maybe very, very peckish. <laughs> Nana's been off the Ozempis for a few months now. Why? Because you can't get it. Oh, so it's not by choice. No. Or how's your how's your weight steady? I mean, according to the internet, I'm a fat pick that deserves to die. But <laughs> <laughs> is that the internet or your inner monologue? No, it's the internet. Hateful queens. Um, but now I feel fine. I mean, you know, I haven't gained any weight. Well, I think you look good. I think we have a big week this week, don't we? We have a client. Do we? Don't we have a cl- oh tonight we have a client thing. What? Remember downtown? It's at the hair salon near my uh, West Village townhouse that I live in that I rent. That's really really small, nice. Wait, do we really? <laughs> what? We really do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's at like four p.m. before the chicks live show. I have the dozen. Well. I'll represent. I'll bring Diego, and I'll tell you them that Diego is you. That's no, fine. I'll that's represent. Don't worry about it. I knew there was something today. Everyone's continuing the date, and then Jeff Dilo's texting me, and I and I, I was I never wrote that down. It's in the calendar, though. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. At four o'clock. I have the. That's right. I'll represent. We're trying to get some hair product sponsors. So if you own a hair company, 
um, maybe something to do with a wig, you know, maybe some yakky hair, Malaysian hair, lace Malaysian glue. Malaysian yakky, lace glue. We're looking for anything. How do you do your hair every morning, Diego? Uh, it's like coiffed. It's like very may 70s. I? I like, do you mind? Yeah, you can, you can. Take her down. Oh. It's conditioned, right? Very nice. I, I used to have the same head of hair. You did? Hold on to it while you have it, girl. I just now I have to go to Turkey. My, mine's going bad. Grow. No, mine's, mine's gone. Go, mine's going so bad. It's say, so shitty. You're gonna be bald you as fuck. I'm bald now. now. <laughs> it's just like he, it's like my corners are going so bad. I'm like Brother. doing a comb over. It's the I have worst. no mine's no. I really am bald. That's why I have it's I took a hat over. off this whole season. I'm going to Turkey. Look at this. Pizza. I don't know how to style my hair. That's the issue. You don't need to. You got it. No, you got it. That's cool. You look great. Yeah, but how old are you? 22. I had Same. it at 22. It go like. Uh, it one I'm, one day, I'm just saying. Like you think you're. I thought it was good. I thought I was safe my whole life. Then he's bringing him to reality. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, it goes. They, they always say it's your mom's side. My mom's side is a full head. Everyone has a full head of hair. So I'm like, oh, I'm good. I look just like them. I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucked. And all my hair. You're not fucked. You're, you're 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 you would have been thinning already. I oh. actually have a full bald spot, and I'm. I, 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 yeah, you I'm spray out. it in though. You, I'm, spray, I'm, you spray like fibers. I, have, I fibers don't stick too well. I, I use I use the hairspray. I use. Fibers. I use hair fibers like the powder. Yeah, it works great. What is it? Um, I really recommend? So it's just um, like a black keratin fibers. powder. You, sh- you shake it in. It's like keratin fibers. It, look, look, it uh, magnetizes itself to the, co- to the cortex, essentially. Oh, it works <laughs> great. Um, I no, I have to go to Turkey, but I'm trying to get it done locally because I don't want to have to go all the way over there. You go to Harlem. No, I, I'm going to go <laughs> to either my doctors that I my team my my medical team here. Yeah. Or but I would I would go to Turkey, but like the thing is, I want to I would want to I want to be able to bring someone with me. To go, um, would you come with me? Absolutely. You really would? Absolutely. Because I'm going to need someone to videotape it because they're going to give it to me for free, but I need, and they're going to fly me for free. Hit, you don't need to get it. Yes, I do. Look at the back your of head my off. Head. No, look at. Oh, damn. Yeah, you do. You're kind of. Why bad. don't we do it together? I need to do it too. Because they're not going to give it to you for free. Yeah, but they're not giving it to me free anyway, no matter what, so I might as well go. <laughs> I can just do it then. What's your girlfriend oh. think you're thinning here? She supports me. She, she, how was your birthday party on Friday? It was fun. Uh, I got, and I got I got comments. Where was Trish and Anice? They didn't come. But we were we had a night the night before. They, you got, had to get- they got invited. It was a surprise, right? It was a surprise. I she, I knew something was up. So it was Vinny's thirtieth birthday on Friday. The big three zero. Jetski was uh, trying to get us to go, but he, we wanted to go. But we found out when it was. We were like, just realistically speaking, Fuck. I can't go out go out and then go out the next day and like I I'm could, looking de- for it's a death it's a death center also i would have felt bad because like we weren't nobody was really going out like we like hung out there but then everyone just like went home afterwards so i would have felt bad if you guys like came all the way to jersey city and then we're like all right uh, and like, got no yeah. dick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go, we go Vinny, nice diego we go Vin, well Vinny, we came all the way out <laughs> speaking of dick where's brian uh i don't know where brian is he, he must be at his desk hmm. thinking about you guys the big three oh do you come today, question mark? <laughs> you good? Who, Sorry. Who's that? Liam? Oh, it's your cleaning lady. Um, yeah, no, the, bir- <laughs> the birthday party, well, I would say it looked fun, but I didn't see anything of it, so I'm going to assume it was fun. It was fun. It was a good time. Nice surprise. Say hello to a stress-less holiday season with the help of HelloFresh. Skip the grocery store and save time with easy, tasty recipes delivered right to your door. Tis the season for giving and gathering, and with HelloFresh, it can also be the season of saving. Actually save money this month with fresh recipes delivered cheaper than takeout. And with pre-portioned ingredients, you'll never waste money on excess food. After a full day of work, there's so much to do. Some days, it feels like eating a wholesome dinner is next to impossible. But with HelloFresh, you can turn busy weeknights into memorable meal times with delicious, practical options designed to save you time, like their 15-minute meals, Joe. Sign up with HelloFresh and get everything you need to have a fresh, tasty meals to the right to your door. Just choose your recipe, select a delivery date, and relax knowing your dinner is on the way. Um, make host, uh, so I love it because you can get your recipe cards and you can always have them for the future. So when you learn a recipe, yeah. you feel like you learned something new from a loved one. Um, and I love it because I don't waste excess food like they said earlier. I, I order so much food and um, and I'm thinking that uh, the gang is going to come. They end up throwing it out. I'm wasting money. I'm wasting time going to the grocery store. With HelloFresh, it delivers right to my door. I'm not over buying. I'm not over, I'm not wasting anything. And I'm making the right portions that I need. Um, so go to HelloFresh.com slash out and about free and use code out and about free for free breakfast for life. That's right. One breakfast item per box with subscriptions active. This, uh, that's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash out and about free with code out and about free. HelloFresh.com slash out and about free. Um, you know who didn't have a good weekend? 
our good friend George Santos. <laughs> <laughs> she had to lip sync for her legacy. She, they call her a stunt queen now. Did, now she, did Rue send her home? Rue sent her home, the sixth person ever <laughs> expelled from Congress for a list of lies that it almost seems fake all the things that he lied about, she lied about. But I I mean, he was on macrodosing. He came in. There's the photo of us together. I thought he was a great time. Why does, why does that queen have the eye patch on? Is she, is she uh, pretty ex, Ex-military. Oh, yeah. Something he's, happened he makes him. his whole eye patch his yeah. whole personality. Yeah. So she's, also, she's also up in geesh, up in yags. Oh, we're going to have to get yeah. to a glossary beforehand so you can know what all the, what the, what the words mean. Okay. Um, do you want to hear some of the lies that George Santos... I'd be honored. And I'm There's just going to say that we, 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 we uh, laid the groundwork for th- knowing this was going to happen. And we got this <laughs> we got that the image so we can use it for uh, socials. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think, I mean, we would want, I want to have... George, if you're listening, I know you are. You are welcome on this show anytime to tell your truth, to tell your story. If you want to be a third mic, I will pay you. We'll pay you out of pocket, I believe. Well, she can help my cleaning ladies, believe it or not. (laughs) Okay, some of the lies. Lied about mother being a victim of the 9-11 attacks despite living in Brazil. Lied about being Jewish. The mother lived. She said his mom was a victim? Yes. Lied about being Jewish. Lied about his grandparents surviving the Holocaust. Lied about graduating from Baruch High School. Lied about uh, Baruch College. Lied about graduating from NYU. Lied about working at Goldman Sachs. Lied about employment at Linkbridge to investors. Worked at an investment firm accused of a Ponzi scheme, I which you? I love. Yes. Can I pause you a second? Back it up for a few things. Now, in order to get into – now, this just seems like if he was able to get – I'm sorry. She was able to get away with all this. There's, there's something fucked up in the in the in the in the in the crook. Uh, it's the nooks, and, nooks, and, nooks and crannies of Congress because wouldn't they fact check your your your, your scholastic fucking background or your 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 previous job titles nice. if you're getting if you're getting these 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 high this high um ranking job well, you would think who's gonna do that it's like who when gonna it, check me boo it's like <laughs> that's what she said it's the, like uh, it's like references like do, how many times do people really check your references for you shit? see that like, the, 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 the documentary on netflix called bad surgeon it's about a surgeon um, who yeah, fucking put in shit, yeah. fake windpipes into people and he just made up being a surgeon and all yeah. his people died no one checks there's a any, lot there's a lot of things like that if you're charming you can get away yeah. with anything <laughs> it's like the most charming people you could just say the meanest things <laughs> and smile in someone's face, and you're good to go. Um, charged with credit control. credit card fraud in Brazil. Lied about being a landlord and owning 13 properties. <laughs> Lied about founding an animal charity and personally <laughs> pocketed donations. This is when he's like, I'm "What kind of animals? I hope dogs. it's gay animals. Oh, dogs. Is, is I was hoping animals? it was like llamas or something." <laughs> um, that was a that was the like military vet. He's like, we're getting money for a service dog, and he's like, oh yeah, your dog's on the way, and he just like pocketed the That's money. And this this, this this information of the list of lies is all from a uh, a former drag queen that she worked with. The, <laughs> this on the shade. scene. <laughs> oh, this is a shade. <laughs> this is all shade. It's all fake. I mean, there's. I'll keep going. Accused of writing bad checks to purchase puppies, then selling the puppies. This, this she's cruel. And the these bill. are like the gayest like uh, accusations. Yes. Puppies. <laughs> um, two counts of wire fraud. Two counts of ma- making materially false statements to the FEC. Two counts. What's of the false FEC? Th- Diego. <laughs> Diego, that's your first test. Uh, two counts of aggravated identity theft. One federal count- elections comp- commission. Nice. Accused of skimming credit cards from ATM <laughs> machines in Seattle. Work bitch. <laughs> that is fucking incredible. Defrauded uh, donations of up to fifty thousand and sent them to his LLC instead of his campaign. Love. Collected twenty four thousand in unemployment while be- while employed. Sp- oh, this is you. <laughs> Spent campaign funds on personal expenses like Sephora, Hermes, <laughs> OnlyFans, and Botox. If that is not the most f***ing way to defraud the I think, government. I think I spent money on all those this week. Except Botox, I get that for free. Oh my god. Stole the identity of family members. Used campaign donors' credit card info to make additional camp. So someone would donate money with a credit card. She'd put on her monocle, skim that, and send Donate it. Donate money thing. to her campaign. Yes, which then, you, which then he Look would at the use list. the money. Oh, Look it's the list. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well keep going. There's like five yeah, left. I want to hear them. Um, reim- this. Oh my! I love you, George Santos. Reimbursed himself for loans he didn't make. <laughs> lied about his marriage and divorce to a woman. Was a drag queen in Brazil. Now that that we do have footage of that we do have Catania. footage of. Lied about oh this is the lied about acting in Hannah Montana and Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. 
What do you what? Lied about acting in a movie with Uma Thurman. Lied about help <laughs> lied about helping produce Spider Man turn off the dark. All right, n- now I think someone else is now lying. <laughs> we're, now we're getting into shade. Lied about being a journalist and executive for Brazilian media giant. Claims he was the target of an assassination attempt. <laughs> Sephora. Mm. Is she the modern day Anna Delvey? I think. And now he's saying he's not. Re- he's on Cameo. 75 bucks a pop on Cameo he just joined. And he says he's not ruling out Dancing with the Stars. I That's just said that. Cheap. Yes. Yeah. I think he, he does watch the show. He has to watch the show. Do you think they'll have him on? I disgrace no. um, journalist. I would. Would you? Ex ex Spider Man pr- executive. He needs a redemption. <laughs> if he like can be like this is my redemption. It's pronounced redemption. Re- my apologies. Redemption. I think he might. Seventy five is know. too cheap for cameo. Go to his thing. Let's see if we can buy. I charge one fifty. Should we do? We should. Yeah, let's buy a cameo if we can do it. George Santos lies is the first thing. Diego, I have to get you a copy of my credit card so you can have it. So you can. Run, run errands and things. Thank Got you. it. <laughs> he's he's gonna. We're gonna find Diego. Diego, look at the photo more. of his face. Go back. Go on YouTube if you're watching. The cro- Look at the beat. Look at the fucking beat. Well, I don't know why she. I, mean, I know why she didn't bring it down to her neck. She didn't want to get it on her blouse. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? It has to be. Cameo.com. George Santos. Cameo doesn't put fake people up. But it could be a Photoshop. There we go. One fifty. You have the same right. <laughs> as look at the nails. Look at the nails. <laughs> Where? Right there. Former what? congressional icon. But are we sure this is real? Are we sure this is his real page? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because it has to. Well, he's not. What do you have to be? Verified? Cameo's not going to put. I don't know. A fake person up. Go, I don't are know there how any examples though. of videos? Sometimes there are examples. There has to be. His intro video. Her intro video. Sorry. Hi, I'm George Santos. Pep talk, holiday, I get gossip, Pop. advice, question. Can you go to mine and see if, if if I pop up? Oh, there she is, a makeup artist. See, he's <laughs> making videos up. I think his is fake. your fucking face, you dickhead. Um, um, guys, I'm at the airport. I'm about to fly back to New York. I'm going to be working with Cameo. It's new. That was when they first launched. Look at the oversized glasses. To marry you or tell your mom that you're gay, whatever you want. <laughs> Diego booked that one right after. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Well, we like. Well, I, well, I, I think. I mean, uh, there's. I, icon is the right word to say. I mean, like you know, it's truly. If you're gonna go out with a bang, go out with a bang. I mean, like you know, and he commits. He commits to, um, to the crazy. And I think it's great. So he's only the sixth person. I don't think it's great when they're in Congress. I mean, I think that's fucked up. But like, as just a regular, though? regular old shady queen, I think it's funny. I think it's he literally. I scan- live for it. As 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 as, as, yeah. as 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 a domestic, not domestic, as a pedestrian, a pedestrian queen, it's fucking major. But as like someone and that's in charge of people's like livelihoods and finances and Getting well-being as, as an American, and- as an American, I think that's fucked up. But I think you know, as just a regular old bar queen, it's like a major bar queen. Yeah, Congress has been around since 1789, and he's the sixth person in all of that time to be expelled. That's the level of who are the queens before her? Well, let's take a look. Who were her four? Who were the forefathers? Who who walked so she could so <laughs> she could sashay away? <laughs> Have you seen all the drag queen, all the all the RuPaul um, elimination there's, memes? No, nah, they're so. Hold on, here we go. What do we got? Zoom in. Eighteen sixty one. John B. Clark. A de- are they? Are they a all? Democrat oh. from Missouri? Con- supporting the Confederate rebellion. Yeah. So that this, that was something definitely with with slavery and same with John W. Reed. Can you Henry, click on them? Can you go over them so I can see their pictures? Oh, so the reason is literally they supported the Confederacy. So these are the reasons why, and then because supported the Confederacy. Okay, smash. let's see. Let's see who we sleep with. John B. Clark. Click on him. Smash. No, not a chance. He was a politician who served as a member of United States Congress. Confederate, born in Kentucky, moved his family to Missouri. 1818 began studying law, open legal practice. I would smash him. You wouldn't? Uh, I would. No, I wouldn't smash him. Okay, next. He looks like an angry baseball no. father. John William Reed. He looks like well, he looks like a walrus. No, thank you. And again, in Missouri, there was a a a, a bit. Cornelius. A bit. Cornelius looks like Frankie Borelli, doesn't he? No, he looks face, like he, no, he looks like. Um, That's a crazy chin beard. 
He looks like That's a um, wild chin. That looks like uh <laughs> What's his face he looks like? The guy from West Coast Choppers. No. Mm. What'd you say? He looks like Owen. <laughs> Does he? A little bit. I'm a little worried about Owen. She's been, I found a, a you shirt. Know why he's lost so much weight? And he used to be like I I know he doesn't drink anymore. I know we're not supposed to fill, f- spill health details. I'm just, I want my, my sweet Owen to be healthy. Do you think she got my, my Ozempic prescription? Oh, is that yeah. why? Owen's shooting it up into his 90 pound leg. Uh, okay, Michael, who's next is, oh. Conve- okay, so the first three were like. Ozzy Myers, this is a guinea. Confederate, well, there you go. I mean, that's what, 1980, Democrat. So there was a 200 year, 100 year break, 140 year break. Convicted of bribery in the Abscom scandal. And they're all Democrats. They Shady said, Democrats. That's why I'm voting red this year. What is, what what is the FBI's <laughs> thing? Oh yeah, so this is some Guinea shit. They're dirty, dirty people. Guinea's down in Providence. Um, That's the fake hair of ever seen. This is your godfather. This is your godfather. <laughs> what's he on? Read his thing, Joe. Okay, see. go and get you it again. What? No, what's his? James what's, Traf, tra- Traffic Camp. Saying this, right? Ohio Democrat Traffic Camp. I hooked up with a guy named. Convicted Alex. on ten counts of including bribery, conspiracy, defraud the United States, corruption, obstruction of justice, tax evasion, and racketeering. Can I see his picture again? I would. He has. You know what it is? He's the kind of guy who would disown his son. Which I mean, I would as well, but. Look at that quaff, though. That's he's trailing Diego. This, yeah. is Diego's, this is Diego's inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> this, is her, this, is her, this is her late godfather. Yeah. Where'd you get your style, your inspiration, Diego? James, the late James Traffic can't believe it or not. And, uh, and then George Chan, and then and then, oh, she's a Republican. Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Look at the fucking beat. And now he, of course, was defrauding and misusing campaign funds. The House Ethics. The House down boots. The House. Imagine. It's, <laughs> can you change Wikipedia's? Yeah, yes. I like, don't know could how we change that right I now. To, that, I, I, th- I don't know. If, you gotta like, sign Literally in anybody that. can. I think there's like yeah, like you gotta. Now can I say something? Yes. And I'm gonna say it's a, it's it. I don't give a fuck what people think of me. Um, D- I know what you're gonna say. If it's something that you're gonna want cut, I don't know if I need this kind of not. But I'm thinking about I'm speaking it. Speaking like, okay. the truth. Let's let come No, okay. Back. Let me. I'm gonna be honest here. Talk about it. As shady as he fucking is. Yep. And now we're. It's. They're thinking. It's impossible. How did he get? Where he is today. Do you think that... Lies. Clearly. He no, just no, no, lied no, no, about no. everything. No, no, no. Do you think that he bamboozled people into um, hiring him as a default thing because he's gay um, and and um, biracial or something? Do you no, because he was, was like... like cl- I think he was like... He was closeted, wasn't he? Uh, he like wasn't like... He I don't know about a, that. He's not like, like how did you get that far? Because like, you know, you, like some people just to fit a quota, like oh, we have to have some some gay guy in here. Do you think I they did that to like I, say like, fill the void? I think he's the a, only one that's he's the only no, one that's qualified. Fucking, he's a Santos and he's gay, but I think it's like yeah. he. I literally think he just lied. Like people don't expect people to lie on their background. Like if we if you apply for a job, like that's I could probably right. right now get to like the second round of like. An interview at like Goldman Sachs. I know how people. I know people who job. did that. Like if I just lied about everything, like I could make it like to a certain degree. You could too. What kind? What kind of job? Now, do you think I can? I can be a, a third key holder at the Forever Twenty One in Times Square? <laughs> no <laughs> lies necessary for that. Working third key. I as know you want where to. at the at the Forever Twenty One in Times Square. I think maybe an H and M. No, no, no. Um, American Girl doll. <laughs> no, you have too much attitude for American Girl doll. Wait, do do the thing. With the card, what would be like a good one? For Cash, you? this one's taking cards. Do it again. Next on line, <laughs> cards only. I can only take card, debit only. <laughs> debit, Cred- debit only. Credits over here. You remember? Put, remember your mom would put in the thing. Da, 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 the debit. Yeah. My mom would write checks at the grocery. store. Do you store. know my mother? Uh, yeah. Used to bring me to the that. store. My mother was me and my mother were shady. We were the original George Santos. Me was like my mom used Apple Pay. <laughs> <laughs> me and my mother were the original shady queens because my my father when I tech, the day I turned seventeen and got a driver's license. She was dragging me around to all the stores because she stole my father's checkbook, and then she needed a, she needed a driver's license to go with the checks. Oh God! Because her name, my father took my mom's name off the checkbooks because she was going great, going wild. So that's where so, you get it from. So me and my mother, she's like, you know, come come to the store with me. I'll get you whatever you want. So we used to do that, and then we used to hide things in the trunk. My father was asleep. We'd bring it into the house. You know, we oh had we had a whole God. scam going on with checks. Yeah, we we, had, ever, we were doing embezzlement ever, for my father, she, she ever, my late father. Did she, she ever write? I mean, I mean, he wouldn't do that to Bill. Does she ever write like checks at the grocery store? Yes. That, I remember thinking, how weird is back. that? I remember, yeah, cash back. Yeah. Forty back. Yeah. Never more than forty. You write your checks for. I should write, start writing checks. That's the, that's the most major thing. You know who still writes checks? Who? Tammy from the military. 
I know. I, we should write Let her me a get ca- my pocketbook. Let me get my pocketbook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cashier's check. I had to write a fucking check for my goddamn apartment. That was yeah. a nightmare. I almost stole checks from he who shall not be named on the way out. When I was, when I was cleaning the house. When I was cleaning Do you know her, house, um, her Instagram popped up on my feed this week, weekend? Did you block? Well, I wanted to, but it was a picture of um, the dog. Yeah. I think I've turned a heel with that whole thing. I think I'm, I'm looking forward. The sulking is over. I'm ready to smash. I'm ready. If anyone knows anyone, you're ready. You already did. I was saying you, yeah. you have. I don't have been smashing. You know what? <laughs> do you go? Do you, are you dating anyone? Yeah, I have a girlfriend. What's his name? Get out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I met her. Yeah, her name's Cat. You met her. I met her a few times. Yeah. How old? Diego, pull that. How closer. old? I mean, she's your age. She's um, 46. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's uh, she's 24. Ooh, an older she's, woman. Yeah. Imagine Diego dating a 46 year old. <laughs> well, it's that. It's not that crazy. It's not that crazy, guys. <laughs> How long have you been dating? Uh, like a year and oh god, over a year. Is her last name Santos? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Diego, that's a beautiful love story. I know. Where'd you meet? Um, I met her her senior spring of college, but I was a junior, so her senior spring in she, high school, or college. College. Or college. She goes. She goes. I got to sick my talons into one of these young bucks <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to come around for come around for homecoming. <laughs> An aquar a, 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 a lock, locked down Aquarian. With huh. a flippy hairdo and a Latina last name. <laughs> if I now, wasn't mistaken. <laughs> she is the next in line to take the throne. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't mistaken, it seems like we have a congressional candidate. A on congressional our hands. queen on our hands. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's how I got my job here, lying. I know. <laughs> All you have to do is lie. That's really it. I know people who got jobs at like the lying. best companies lying about the resume. Whole yeah. resume is a lie. You could do it no problem. I have too much anxiety to lie. I have to live my, I have to live my truth at all times. I literally <laughs> do. It gives me anxiety. Do you know that Live Event Larry called me at 9.30 this morning and said, are you up? I thought something bad happened. I thought everyone was dead. Why? She's trying to fuck? <laughs> no, she wanted to, she wanted to tell me that she was watching me and um, Ebony's Tic Tacs and laughing about them. Oh, that's sweet. Was Larry at the show? Larry was not there. I called Larry. You did? I call Ivan Larry because I wanted to make sure that I was taken care of before I arrived my, my, my entourage. I like how she's running around like crazy. You're hounding her to make, take care of you. No, she wasn't there. She was in Las Vegas oh, at she Thunder was Down at Under. Oh, she No, she was, at, she was at Thunder Down Under when I called her. She's at a strip club? Well, she was, she was at the, yeah, she was about to go see a show, but she's there laying down the groundwork for um for Super Bowl. Oh, hell yeah. I'm, right. going, to, I'm going to Super Bowl this year. I want to go too. You should. We will got to get more involved with like shit like that. Like big shit where it's like if you're doing if they're doing a fucking tournament of whatever Come to Arizona in Bowl Chicago, with us. then like we should be going to that. Come show. to Arizona Bowl with us. When is that? It's coming up soon. Oh, that's yeah. on the CW too, right? Yes. We're gonna and, Dave, the... and Dave had no idea. Yeah. When is it? <laughs> December twenty eighth, I think. December twenty eighth. That's I can't. That's the day that Gypsy Rose gets out. <laughs> All right, our hands are tied. <laughs> December twenty eighth. That's like the day after Chris. Do you want to go? To the Arizona Bowl? Yeah, we go to. Barcelona. I can't. I'm going to Missouri to get to get Gypsy Rose out. I would actually. Oh no, I December thirty thirtieth. New Year's Eve? I mean, no, 31st is New Year's Eve. How are you celebrating New Year's? Do you want to kiss me on New Year's when the ball drops? Sure, if we, there's a camera. And we can do it on stage. Out and About is sponsored by BetterHelp. Whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself, and the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember that give yourself some love in, um, this holiday season. We have that as a benefit here at BetterHelp, and so many people use it, and everyone sings their praises because it really does help you feel better about yourself. Just having a non-biased person to kind of vent to and talk to and help you develop the skills that you need in order to have a more mentally clear and mentally healthy life, it really does make a difference. So if you're thinking of trying therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Yeah, visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash out and about today for 10% off your first month. Take care of your health this holiday season. And the best part is, Joe, I'm going to add one more thing. It's all online, so really quick. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and fit your schedule. All you do is fill out a questionnaire, and you're good to go. Again, betterhelp.com slash out and about for 10% off your first month. The holidays are coming up. My tree is up. Yep, I saw that. And I finally went to my storage unit and got my decorations out. Now, I thought I lost all my wreaths and all my decorations, but I had they were, they were in my sister's storage unit. Are you doing the holidays at your house? No. I'm doing Christmas Eve at Poppy's house because our family's there, and I, I, I don't have the capacity to host that many people, and it, we, no one wants to come all the way to the city. The, where um, do they get part? That, I think that's the only downside about your place is if they're coming from Jersey, it's, they all have to come from Jersey, they have to find parking, which is like a pain in the dick. Because um, you have to pay for I mean, do you, I don't do you validate? I, no, I don't validate. I just send cars for my family. 
to come. Oh, you're rich, 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 rich. Like no, but I'm saying I'm not gonna like. It's the same price to, for them to like drive in, park, and do all the shit that it is to like, and then they like, have to drink. So and you don't want old. I don't send. I don't, I don't send my whole family. I send you know my father, my sister. I send a car. That's it. Well, you don't. Want old I send people. for them. Yeah. I think it's like, what do they say? The worst thing for your parents when they get older is stress. I feel like that would stress my parents out if they have to fucking drive. Well, my father's an entitled queen now. My father's the new George, George Santos. Yeah, you're, after he had his face, his FaceTime on the uh, the Thanksgiving thing, he, yeah. the cameras were making demands. He would, he would play to the camera. He'd open up to the camera and go, bitch. Yeah. He'd be behind his back. I he crushed it. Yeah, he was so, great. Um, yeah, so, he, so she won't you know, get anything less than a black SUV. Well, I like that. Um, but yeah, the holidays. So, that, so I'm planning my menu right now. I'm going to take a little bit of the same um, inspiration from the table scene, but this year I'm going to, I'm going to do more religious vibes now. Ooh. Like I'm not going to have I'm not going to have a full crucifix on the dining room table, but I am going to have some religious garb. Maybe a nativity scene, maybe. Maybe, but I'm thinking like more like last supper vibes. Okay, and that's just because it's your last supper on earth. Do you think I'm going to die this year? I don't know. Oh my god, don't this is bad. Okay, continue. <laughs> last supper, you're religious. So I'm gonna yeah, some holidays. I'm doing that. So I'm hosting um, Christmas Eve this year at my father's house. So I already hired, I already secured two people. I, I was gonna do I was gonna do two ladies. But Are then, they getting paid time and a half on a holiday? They're gonna paid well. Good. Um, but I decided to do a husband and wife duo this year. You have a husband and wife who are going to be working at your house? Yes, because so they can spend the holiday together. Oh, that's while sweet. While they're working. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, you couldn't pay me enough. I think if I were to actually... It's Christmas Eve, though. They can spend, they have Christmas Day for the family. Tomorrow, I don't know. Day. Like, realistically, I don't know what the number would be for me to work for you on Christmas Eve at your house. No. I would need... I would probably need $20,000 cash. Twenty-five grand, maybe. But you wouldn't even, even if I did give it, you still would be fucking do a shitty job. <laughs> there we go. You are no, the, wor think... the worst person to hire for a, for a good job like that. No. Other jobs, maybe, yeah. Have but you got um, gifts? Are you gonna get me a gift? I wasn't planning on doing a gift exchange. I think we should do a gift exchange here. I think like amongst. Didn't we do that last are year? Are we doing a black Santa? What's it called? Black Santa? No. What is it called? <laughs> White elephant. White elephant. Yeah. Like no, Yankee, no, Yankee, Yankee Santa. Swap. Yankee Santa. Secret Swap. Santa. Yeah. Do you want to do Secret Santa here on on the show? I'll do. There's whatever. only three of us. Four well, of us. Brian, and we could <laughs> and Brian, yeah, Brian could come in. I think we should just all, maybe me and you just get each other a couple gifts. Sorry, Vinny. Fuck. What do you think? I got you. You need to get you at least one thing because I got you one. What's gift. What's monetary value? A couple hundred bucks. You want me something for a couple hundred bucks? No, I'm. Oh, I, it will get that because I'm getting more than one thing. You're saying that because you, you definitely didn't buy me anything. You actually found I something. He did tell you, me before you got show, here. You got one. I thing. can go on. Vin what is a Vinny will prove. Yeah. It's a category. Vinny, look at my Amazon, and I will show you. It's a category those. religious. No, it's is not it drugs? religious. You psycho. No, it's not drugs. Is it ladies' clothing? No. Is it is it wig Vinny? related? That's yeah. proof. It says it's arriving, yeah. Let me see. No, it's <laughs> arriving today. You got to get me something for a gift exchange. You don't want to get me How anything? much was that gift? Uh, this gift was $79. Diego, remind me that we have to do a cameo so I can afford to get him a gift. <laughs> <laughs> what would you get me? I mean, You're so easy to buy for. What's the category? Category is Christmas Is it gift. a real gift or is it a gag gift? This is a real gift. This is, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like a joke gift? It's not something I actually. Uh, it's not something I actually use. It's kind of oh, both. Oh, you'll use it's it. It's kind of both. For you, it's is it very, a sexual gift? No. For you, it's very. It's elegant. For you, it's a very real gift. <laughs> like the smile. Is it involving? Does it involve jam? No. Or jelly? No. It's not the jelly of the month club. No, it's not the good <laughs> save. It's not the jelly of the month club. I think it's something that you will have for years to come, and it's something that you will. Really is it a new like. hip? No, but it's a, it's a new knee, re knee replacement. What would you, you're easy to buy for though? I know what you like. You like women's clothing. You like makeup. You like. I like same heels. As Diego. You like heels. You like. Um, you like anything. You like any kind of memorabilia that involves an incarcerated woman. Oh. You like. The finer things. Is it a personal? Life. I love personalized things. I love anything personalized. Is it a? You said it could be. It's it's personal. I, it's not personalized. Is it a hologram of my dead mother? Correct. Okay. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. Um, what would you get from me? Spitball some ideas. For you, I'd probably get you something actually nice for your home that's not green or a fucking colorblind color. Okay, nice. Then that's shade. Go on. I might get you. Do you want your other coffee table? Your other. Uh, you want your other nightstand? No. Oh yes. 
Would you really get that for me? Yeah, if, if you match the, match the donation. I will match the donation. What, you, what are you going to get me for $600 then? Uh, you can get that. At, the hip. You can get that right. I can get you the hip. <laughs> I can get you the hip. Oh, speaking of uh, like hip and stuff, my friend, Mrs. Dow Jones, we were talking, we were out to dinner with, it was her and like Kat Cohen and people. One of their friends went to Turkey to get a hair replacement. I just said that. Wait, you're not going to want to do it. They went to Turkey to get a hair replacement, mm -hmm. came back to the United States. Felt great. Started feeling a little bit gross a couple weeks later. Good infection. Oh, hold on. Went to the doctor. Doctor's like, where were you? What did you get done? She had her tits done and she had her hair done. Um, Is like, okay, this transgender? They go, okay. they go, oh, no. They go, okay, we are, we're going to give you like a full body CAT scan to see what's going on. They do the CAT scan. The doctor comes in and says, why didn't you tell me you had your kidney removed? While she was under the knife in Turkey... They stole her fucking kidney and sold it on the black market. Work. How fucking what? insane. They went in through her fucking vroom, so there was no scar or anything, and they fucking ganked the kidney. Wait. What? That's crazy. Wait, also, but what he said, <laughs> what he said, transgender? You're saying tits but hair replacement? No, no. You sh I was a, a lady. She got like a hair, got something done with her hair, and she got tits. She wants a uh, okay. turkey because it's I, I was thinking there, it was a guy. But like, it was all a first. scam because the doctor went yeah, in, yeah. boom. Well, she went to a shady doctor then. Yeah, but how do you, that's the thing. How do you vet a doctor that's like well, first across of all, the fucking ocean? I also don't think tits are what you get done in Turkey. Turkey's not the oh, tits you get, capital you get of the. everything done in Turkey. Mm. But how did they get her kidney? They went, I don't know. They fucking stole her kidney. Are she sure that her mother didn't steal her kidney at a young age? It could have been. No, isn't that Can you wild? live with one kidney? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jordan Berry gave her kidney to her dad. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Diego's going to give a kidney to me. Yes, sir. Isn't that insane? Are you still going to go? What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Like if, you, if you guys could say your favorite, uh, number one favorite meal, it's your birthday. and Pussy? Your favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, besides that, I don't know. I like pizza. It's pretty generic, though. Yeah. Pizza's good. Pizza's What's lit. your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, pepperoni. Typical teenage boy. Did you expect yeah. me to say, like, enchiladas? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping, you know, I was hoping it was something more, like, ethnic. No, no. <laughs> you started to say empanadas <laughs> or fucking... Burritos. Burrito. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do you speak Spanish? No. Hmm. No, I was hoping it would be something more, like... like uh, leches? No, like something more, like, you know, exotic or something. Like, you know, something like that I never heard of Chimichangas? before. Chimichangas? Oh, no, I like scallops and salmon, actually. That would oh, probably good. be more... Scallops, that's what my thing. I make a killer right. scallop. I make scallops upstairs. Were you here that day? Yeah, they were. He was. He's them. in the video. Yeah. He was a oh, star. Oh, you were the there. Yeah. Diego was a star in the video. I remember. Diego was there. Um, back to my my thanks my holiday. <laughs> yes. I'm doing I'm doing um the Last Supper theme. Um, there's gonna be. It's where you have twelve people who blindly follow you end up cru crucifying you. No, I'm gonna be doing. No, I'm gonna be doing. You know, very Dolce Gabbana. I'm gonna of course be candelabras and things like that. But I'm gonna also have some kind of like religious garb. Like maybe I'm gonna like um have a. Like, um, the runner is going to be like one of those the religious cloaks things, like, you know, like a runner with like crosses on it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Almost uh, like a, the thing they put the priests no, no, the thing the priest put around their neck. All, you're getting this all wrong. You're not, oh, you're, the runners are going to be a fucking, the lanyard that the priests wear. Something like that. Something Don't that, do religious. Why are you doing religious? You don't believe it's, it. it's, that's what Christmas is. It's Christ mass. What is it? Well, that's when God was killed, and then on Easter. Something with God. It's on a really Easter. Christmas is birthday. Christmas is his birthday. Christmas is birthday? Yeah, he was, he was born. born. Yeah. Well, Christmas Eve. Well, You're a Catholic. Oh, Rodriguez. She, There's a Catholic. If I ever she saw ra it. she rose from the dead. That's Easter. Oh, I don't know what it is. But I don't know do religion. You can't. Do it, it. That's what Christmas is. I think you can have more fun than something religious. And I know you are. His nativity scene is not traditional. I'll say that because he sent some photos of it. I think you can make it maybe like American pop culture, maybe something. What are you laughing at on your phone? Um, I'm going to a game tomorrow. What game? North Carolina versus UConn. Uh, MSG. Basketball game? Yeah. There's bas There's college basketball at MSG right now? Tomorrow, yeah. I guess, Two yeah. Games. It's like you're about around the time of like some, you know, like tournaments and shit they'll do like around this time. That's fun. I'm going to meet the locals. Um, anyway, so I'm going to have that cloak, whatever thing is like, so they're going to be like crosses on the, now Kourtney Kardashian's going to come after me saying I'm coming after her wedding. Yes. She had the, I hate that gothic demonic bullshit. It's going to be kind of gothic a little bit. Yeah, but yours is going to be like, the, it will. Religious. It will also show the light of Christ, which I think is what think all of our I, listeners need in their life. What other, what other religious things can I do at the table? You could sacrifice something. 
You could walk on water. You could turn water into wine. What, you should, should I dress as bread, Mary? Or should I dress as a nativity? Should, I, should pa- Poppy and I dress as a nativity scene? I think. Who would you be? You'd be the Virgin Mary. He would. No, be. I would be. I want to be the white. Yeah, white and blue. No, light you'd blue. be Joseph. You'd for sure be Joseph. I want. I want my outfit to be light blue, white with gold and red details. So then you'd be Luke. Yeah. Luke was Luke was dressed like he was in dips. Um, and then it's and a Christ. And I don't know if it's a Catholic thing or a um, radical Islamic. No, or an Italian American thing where they do the seafood on Christmas Eve. Seven fishes. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do seven fishes. Um, I do that every year on Christmas Eve anyway. Trout, tilapia. No, no, no. I was, I was racking my brain last but I think I've finally learned. So let me see what I'm having. I'm definitely having Christmas Eve. It's a it's traditional. I'm doing um, the Caviar Company caviar, the uh, the Kalu- the Kaluga hybrid from Caviar Company. My favorite. I'm going to serve that with my Pringles and my creme fraiche and all that. I'm doing um, – I'm going to do a clam. I don't know if I'm going to do clams. I think I want to do clams casino, which is very 80s, very like oh. – like uh, not religious. We very um, uh, very uh, um, old to 70s. Like I want it to be like in a very retro food. Clams casino. Didn't we have that at uh, Easter? Yes. No, that think, was that Clams Casino on Easter. I think, and I remember, I remember you were walking around, going, "I got Clams Casino on," and you, yeah. <laughs> you were yelling. Clams Casino is like a. It's so. It good. reminds me. Clams Casino is it's the like breadcrumbs, the bacon. food equivalent to Stu Finer. That's what Clams Casino is. That's a good reference. It's like an '80s Atlantic City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm living, I'm living large, but you're not, but you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Clams Casino, I'm gonna have. Um, I want to do a tree. I got like a, a tree with shrimp on it. So it looks like a Christmas tree, but the, the decorations are. Mm. God. There's gonna be a Jello mold. Um, no, I'm gonna be doing like you know very, maybe stuffed calamari. Maybe. Um, Can I come over for Christmas? Christmas Eve. My family's disowned me. What would you do if my family disowned me? Not a thing. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> what is there to do? I don't know if there's anything to do. I haven't been home in so long. What are you running from? Your truth. My, did fa- you tell your, my did father. You, did you tell your parents that you broke up? Imagine I didn't. You didn't? No. Yeah, I did. Did you cry on the phone? No. When I got cheated on from Tim in 2012, I called my mother crying. Actually, I did. I called my mom crying. I cried on 7th Avenue. I was on. <laughs> Diego's like, Jesus Christ. Get me back to- <laughs> He's like, get me back to Plan B. This show is way too gay for me. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm going to go back for that. Selling a little cha-ching or a lot? Shopify helps you do your thing however you cha-ching. Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch of your online shopping stage to the first real-life store stage to all the way to we just sell a million dollars, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soaps or out offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, which we know Nana loves. Wherever yes. and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. It helps you turn brand browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout that's 36 percent better on average compared to other leading e-commerce platforms and sell more with less effort thanks to shopify magic your ai powered all-star and what i love about shopify is how no matter how big you grow um shopify gives you everything you need to take control of your business and take it to the next level shopify powers 10 percent of all e-commerce in the u.s and shopify is global force behind all birds rothy's brook linen and millions Ooh. of other entrepreneur sizes from everything across country see the hot you know shop Shopify's in 175 countries. That's how I found out if about it. If you think about starting like a business and you want to sell something, hit up Shopify. We're going to give you guys a deal. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash out and about, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash out and about. Out and about is all lowercase. Now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Listen, a little side hustle never hurt anyone. Hop on Shopify. Go to shopify.com slash out and about. Oh, tell me about... um. What was you? What you want me to remind you of? <laughs> what was it you wanted me to remind you of? What was I gonna say? Oh, I don't know. Let me refer to my sheet here. Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> Are you just bite a nail? <laughs> yeah, it's a skin tag. Stop, a skin tag? No, it's a skin for my nail. Oh my god. A cuticle. Oh, I'm in the process of getting healthy. Well, when's that? What's the timeline looking like? I'm going to. <laughs> I'm go- it hasn't started yet. I'm going to a gay CrossFit at 6 p.m. tonight. I don't understand how people work out at night. How exciting is that? What does that entail? It entails squats. It entails deadlifts. It entails snatches. It entails um, a positive can-do attitude. You're going, you're going from a hair salon mingling session, drinking cocktails with hairdressers, to, to a CrossFit? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be drunk. I'm going to blow out my knee on the first fucking thing I do. I'm on a health journey, and it feels good. Well, good for you. 
that was my whole story. I mean, there's really not much to it. I think in my head I but, built it up to be more than what it is. D- does, but I'm going to try and get help. The thing is, I, I need to rebound. I need to rebound body. I need to be. I worked out three days this weekend. I need to be like, get going. Does here. the fact that it's a gay CrossFit is there anything workout wise that makes it gay, or is it just the people? Oh, you a went to your, after. last week. You showed us your great CrossFit when you were hanging from those ropes. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, it's just it's like watered down like CrossFit. I think. Because I can't do the real thing. I just want to get gay flavored CrossFit. Yeah, is, is I, I less just want to get. I just want to get hurt. But the thing is, I think it might be a little bit too much. Is that like, emotionally? We're hurt? here, like, ugh. like I don't know. CrossFit where is it being held tw- uh, 20, at a bar? Twenty six. Yeah, <laughs> it's in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it a happy hour, girl? <laughs> it's at Ramrod on on seventeenth and 9th. It's yeah. easy to get hurt doing CrossFit too. CrossFit's probably this, the most likely just, thing. I don't to hurt work on my doing. lower body. I was like, I just need to fucking lunge and like, I want to get ready for ski season. I'm going to be skiing. Oh, you tr- not that trigger for you to go up to the Vermont again? It is again? a little bit trigger. I'm not going to Vermont. I'm going out to the West Coast, mother. Do you want to come skiing with me? No. You wouldn't want to go to somewhere nice and like bougie. Go to fucking the West Aspen Coast? and go to fucking Diego knows he's a scare. Go to like Aspen. And the West hang Coast out. of California. I mean, you go to Mammoth. You could go out. We would go to Montana. Or Parks, Park City. Park, Park City. City's beautiful. I went to Steamboat. I think you would like a nice like. I mean, I wouldn't ski, but I mean, like, what well, else I'm trying to do? I'm trying there? to strengthen my legs mm-hmm. for skiing. I need to do that. I'm going to Switzerland to ski. <gasps> what? With my girlfriend. She's from Switzerland. She, she's that's from some rich shit. She was like, she's she was born there. I don't know. Is don't she know. uncut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she might she, be. She's from still waiting for marriage. Wow, Switzerland to ski. I think we should go out to. Would, want to go to Aspen Gay Ski Week? No. Is there a gay week for everything? Yeah. yeah. I feel like every time some, one of you says something, like, want to go for gay week? There was a Bruins game <laughs> no matter last night. what it is. They were out. They were mad. They were big triggered last night because it was a Bruins gay game. A gay Bruins yeah, game? Yeah, they, like, painted the stairs rainbows. That's a big controversy in the NHL, I think. That has, that has the most pushback. What's well, fine? Because fucking just, just, Russians in Stop NHL. throwing it in our face. Fuck who you want. Just don't make me fucking part of it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know? They wanted marriage. Well, you better get ready for divorce. <laughs> yeah. Vinny's engaged. Did he tell you that? I know. Are we out of things to say? No, I I, I have things to say. I have to, I, have to, I have to censor myself now. I don't think you do. You guys did a great job last time. Let it go. What? what? N- not censoring? Like, yeah. You guys, we didn't have to cut anything really last time. What do you have to say? Don't, I want you to let it rip. I want you to be yourself. Oh, no, it was about gossip. So I know someone, gossip. someone someone here that we work with. Give me something. Give me a fucking morsel. Let me, let me... Let me nibble on a morsel of gossip. Okay. What is it? You're looking at me with this look I've never seen in your eyes. Um, I recently got in touch with Paula Dean. Okay. I'm listening. Her and I are working on something. A cookbook. An apology tour? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to do a workout class with you. What is what are you what are you insinuating? Oh. I can't open I can't go to the gym until it opens. You can, Joey. I called them early. I call I, I emailed them this week. And I took a picture of the of the of the of the gym and said, "When are you opening?" I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we do have uh, some other news. It's Wednesday right now, which means the 6th episode of Surviving Bar. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Is out. If you have not spent Scandalous. $10 on this, it's the best $10 you will ever Spend on entertainment, and it helps me and Joey. Or you can just okay. wait until, and then all this, you have to you have to dodge spoilers. You can't go on. The, you the, can't dodge spoilers. You have to like. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. that's like if Drag Race came to me and said, um, like when, when when Drag Race is on, like say it's a Friday night and I was out and I, I didn't get to watch it yet. You cannot physically go on your phone because you're terrified of spoilers. Like I can't. If that's you're gonna have to live in fear. If you yeah. if you wait to not to not, if you basically Dave said you can watch the show. Explain what happened. Yeah, you, so basically, YouTube pulled it because Kirk said he was going to blow up Jeff Delo's house. And I say that like, Jeff Delo all the time. And like a bunch of other shit. Um, they, they, they didn't really watch it. They gave us strikes. We're in threat of losing our entire YouTube channel. So we were looking for a workaround, whether that be Twitter, whether it be something else. What we decided on was we would put it on Barstool. It's like Barstool.tv, whatever. It'll be everywhere on our socials. And, and we'll link it in the episode descriptions while the show's it's still the going best on. Show you'll so ever you watch. Yeah. Yeah. I had, a, I had a review of a, a, a singing review of it last time before before this was before they even pulled the episodes because I was to be honest it wasn't like a thing to save the show or kiss ass. It was uh, my honest. It was my honest review. No, I, loved, I love that show. It's objectively great. It's great. And I and what they did was um, all the revenue. I mean, we had like sixty thousand people watching this live, which is translates to a, a decent amount of money on YouTube that we were going to make. So in order to make up that revenue, we're charging ten dollars a pop. So if you support Nana, you support Trish, you support Diego and his Swedish girlfriend, you support Vinny, 
and that sweet ass. Make sure you spend ten dollars on this. It's very, very worth it. I don't want to give spoilers away. There but... is no spoilers. It was already uh, they already aired three episodes. Yeah, well, the third one is airing tonight. Uh, the, no, excuse the fourth me, one. Sixth, sixth, sixth one, one is airing, airing when yeah, this yeah. comes out. The sixth one will oh, be airing that night. Say. Yeah. No, it's we're in the be, future right now. We're in the future. Uh, that's why I feel so. Uh, that's why I'm all out of sorts. <laughs> that's why my bowels aren't lining up correctly. Hold on. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Oh, uh, that's what I was gonna say about the workout thing. Now I remembered. Should I try and meet someone at my workout class? It's too soon. No, I mean if that's gonna make you go. And also, this person came into my life, who I hung out with probably three years ago, and he randomly crept into my life out of nowhere. And we're gonna go out for a drink this week. Is it? Is it a debt collector? It's a debt collector. <laughs> It is Moody's credit investment. So I want you Who to is it? Just a guy. Can I see a picture? Um, yeah, I have to find it. Is I'll this the guy that thing. you were cheating on me with when we first met? No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, um, you know what? I think you should be open to possibilities. I wouldn't get to locked into anything too serious. Um, get, the summer's coming soon. <laughs> it's not a good winter. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, check out. Who cares about that? Check out Barstool. Um, Surviving Barstool. Surviving Barstool. Episodes three through six. The taste of summer never ends with my tequila seltzer. No shaker, no problem. Iconic cocktails, which is a crack of the can. D- Diego, have you ever even had a Mamitas? Yeah, at the Pride Party. Oh, Diego's oh, at the Pride Party. Oh, that's right. That turned you gay. Yep. Well, that's why he's with us today. We have so, we talk about this every week, and I'm so glad we do because I was crushing Mamitas this weekend, and everyone was loving it. Tequila is not just a drink of the summer. Joey and I are drinking it all Wait, year round. Wait, can I tell you that I literally have a shelfie. I call it a shelfie. I have an entire shelf in my refrigerator at, every, every, at all times. Thank you, Mamitas, for stocking me with Mamitas because I never have to worry about not having anything to drink. Literally, other when people come over and they say, what do you have to drink? Of course, I have my wine fridge with all the wine I want. Chilled and peckled. But I said, what would you like? I said, I have, I said, I have wine. I have, you know, cocktails or I have Mamitas. And they look what's Mamitas. I was like, and I tell them all about it. And nine times out of ten, it's so easy. I'm, I love Mamitas because I don't have to make them a cocktail. Right. I don't have to get a wine glass out. I don't have to get my shaker out. I don't have to get ice out. I don't have to get anything. It's literally so easy to entertain. You just crack it and you have the most delicious drink. And, you, you know, if we have a lot of people over, especially in the holidays, you just have, just have that out. It's one less thing you got to do. You don't have to make cocktails. You don't have to shake them up. You don't have to clean glasses. It's just put Mamitas on ice. And throw it out to the, to the and groups. And they got the cocktail pack. They got tequila sunrise, Paloma. They got spicy. That's mar- very they holiday. Got regular mark. They got it all. Spice up your holidays with some Amitas. Find Amitas near you at drinkamitas.com or order on GoPuff. Drinkamitas.com or order on GoPuff. Take a photo of it. Tag us, and we'll repost you. We love Amitas. You will too. Oh, I'd like to call Cry for Help. I would like to. I would like to. I would like to call uh, SOS or um. When, when you what is what is what is called sauce. Like, no, what is it called when you are you like finally, re- finally like have to get throw on the towel and give up and say I need help? Surrender. I I, mean, I want to surrender. Yes. I'm in over my head. With home decor. Okay. I need I need to hire a designer. I I've, I've, I've realized wow. it. Wow. I real I'm, I I don't need a designer. I need a second set of eyes. And I need I need I need a mentor and I need, I need someone in the design world. I'm not talking about some some queen from a, from um a small town that's that's looking to. You know that likes like DIY things and glue, hot glue things together. I need like a real established, a, a established interior designer in New York City that's willing to work for free. Wow. No, I'm not kidding. Um, but uh, that's willing to help me because I, I like I'm in a, I'm in a, a rut right now. I've done everything I can do with the space that I have. Not everything I can do, but I think I'm before I make I, after the next wave of purchases and the next wave of design things. It's like. I just can't nail down what I need to do. I see a second set of eyes. I need some guidance. I need someone to help me. It's tricky when you like get all your big things and then it's like now. Well, I'm holding off on other bigs. My couch, the potato barn fi- is finally, and everyone thought I was lying. They thought I was talking about potato. They thought I was talking about potato salad. No, no. <laughs> potato salad. <laughs> they thought I was talking about pottery barn, but saying a kitschy way that I like to say. No, potato barn is a real furniture yeah, it's empire. It's a bougie fucking thing. It's the best. So yeah, go to potato barn. My couch just comes the sixth. What's today's date? Today's date is the 6th. It's arriving today. My couch arrives today. Oh, that means today's Wednesday? It's, yeah, it's, it already arrived. The couch is there. My d- you got to get going. Your couch is coming to the house. If you're a design... Um, I was trying to play a, a lot. A designer, and you think you can help me, um, slide into um, my DMs. And if you're a... Oh, yeah, and if you're a... a tall, CrossFit, dark, handsome man. Into CrossFit. If you're an ethnic CrossFitter. And if you're an uncut Switzerland queen, hit her up. I think that about wraps it up for today. Um, I usually apologize if I offended anyone on the city's podcast. Yeah, God forbid we offend anyone on the podcast. Um, we love you all, Man Mafia. What else do we have to tell them? Anything? Do we have any subs? Any calls um, to action we have to do? We love them. We I mean we just we love, love them. and appreciate them. And we appreciate oh, buy them. this hat. 
on the internet yes. so I can oh, get those did a bonus. well and the sweatshirts did really I, I have well like too. three of those hats now I have How? Like four of the hoodies Vinny will sell you a used I one. ordered a few for other people some for myself Are I got lying? some from the cyber I swear to god did you use your 30% off discount yes I deadass have three man mafia hats he like said four hoodies <laughs> <laughs> anywho thanks for watching thanks for listening we'll see you guys on Friday